Marty, just saying. Gray and Slade are not happy that you're there. Go up the hill to your spot. You've crossed into the neutral zone. Yeah, it's like he's a Romulan. Did we get anything? Did we get anything? Oh, it's so heavy. Not. Nah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Another tenth to two tenths? Yeah, yeah I would say quarter of an inch. We okay. Got a quarter of an inch. The dri driveway's dry. This was around 9 p.m. Oh, since you checked it last night at night? Well, no, I just meant that's oh. when the rain came. It wasn't at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or whatever. It was at about 9 p.m. Yeah. We were awake and watching TV and... Yeah, it, Don it, said it was windier than it was raining. Yeah, it was windier than it was raining. That's right. You videoing me. I am. <laughs> you getting dizzy? Yes. Go, uh -huh. go, go. <laughs> well, they do say we're going to have a night in the 40s. See, not tonight. I think it's tomorrow night, maybe. Right. So I may be turning on cat oh, no. heating pads for one night. You coming? Okay. Don't just walk up the hill. <laughs> Plug it in down here first. Okay. You coming, Tux? It may just be cool enough that he's ready to go this morning. Well, the driveway has stuff on it again. Big time after the wind. Oh, well. I don't think I feel motivated right now. Maybe Don will run this afternoon and blow it when he gets back. He was disappointed he missed yesterday's run. He was ready to get back out there. Thankfully, my camera doesn't seem any worse for the wear. You coming? Let's go. We're not quite far enough yet. This looked to me like our neighbor over here is off from work this week. He's been out in his yard. He's been working on clearing some of the jungle on this side of the fence. There's a lot of poison ivy in there. I wouldn't be in there. He found the stop sign, which had been knocked over and then stuff had grown up under it. And he's, I guess, burned some yesterday. He has closer to the house a big pile of stuff, so certainly looks much better here on the corner and you can see cars coming so it was a little bit of a safety issue if he keeps coming a little bit that's probably for the better but I could also understand if he liked the privacy the girls would like to walk to me but even on today's trip I saw him turn around see them chase them up the hill several feet and then start his walk again so he kind of he makes it difficult for them to follow it's not mean he just is irritating and bossy aren't you are you irritating and bossy but you sure are a good boy hey bud he goes this is my piece of wood Mine, mine, mine. I've given myself just over an hour this morning to work on the, this uh, modular building. I guess it's just called the Red Mansion, so it's not got a complicated name. That's why I hesitated. Uh, I have decided to build it in. Let's see which color. I've decided to make it blue. Um, the floor is actually blue inside because the walls were red. Um, let me show you. So, not that it would look bad with the blue floor and blue walls, but I'm going to see if I happen to have enough red bricks to do it in red. And, um, I'm giving myself, like I said, an hour this morning because I got to prepare for robotics, but I want to build for a few minutes. I don't have one by three flat reddish brown tiles. I was using so many of them in the haunted house. I think I have some coming though. And this is a decorative exterior step. So skipping it now is not going to hurt anything. I needed 42 one by twos and I have more than 42. Yay! Because these parts haven't come in yet, I'm going to skip that part. Um, 
You know, it's a lot different building from these kind of instructions where you have to pull the parts from your own personal collection or order them than it is having a bag that's numbered and opening up just that bag and knowing everything is there. So this one has a ton of different kinds of parts. What's that, like 15 had an estimate? And, um, you know, it takes a long time just to find the individual parts. It never takes very long to press them into place. It's 11.10 and I am stopping. I made it to step 48. Um, I didn't have any problems color swapping red to blue. Um, this was a light blue, I made it orange. Um, this was a dark gray, I made it a light gray. I'm happy with those substitutions. Um, you can see where I'm missing bricks. I'm gonna go order one I'm missing now. Um, mostly these light gray squares and some light gray L's, um, but also some blue L's. And uh, so that's not too bad. I have learned my lesson about building the walls without having the floor done. However, most of the floor is done and there's a lot more furniture to put down here and I'm not ready for the walls yet. And I can build one or two walls, like I could do back here and over here and that would still leave me plenty of room for my hand to come in. So I'm nowhere near at a showstopper as far as parts go, um, but I do need to order a few things. Older dude 35 on YouTube is a great quote unquote kid. Well, I started watching him when he was 14. He's 20 now. He's an MIT student. He's brilliant, obviously. And um, he had a video about um, having a launcher on a robot. He was pranking his um, dorm mates, his... Uh, his uh, friends at school and um, his robot has a knocker which I didn't put on this robot but also has this launcher thing which I modified to put here and um, when you run the program here you guys are worth me having to get up and go chase the uh, the launcher stuff down all right here let's run the program launchers ready pretty cool so this little white piece goes right and then goes left and then goes back to home and um, it presses on these little touch sensor buttons in there and that's what causes the launchers to be released so pretty cool the launcher came with the new robot um like i said it's pretty it's pretty cool the cat is pretty impressed with the launcher it's coming it's coming He went and retrieved them a minute ago. Are you going to get them? Are you? Are you going to get them? Is it going to come and get you? Psh! <laughs> I'm just um, done with robotics for today and also for the year. I might be a little tore up about it being our last time together. I've talked to one of the boys who is super sharp. Well, they're all sharp, but, you know, who's super sharp and motivated, and he's going to do a little bit of robotics over the summer. I'm going to get him some more parts and some more um, sensors. He needs a gyro sensor and a touch sensor, and just at his speed, you know, 30 minutes a week, an hour a week, something like that, um, pass off some stuff for him to try. A book. I want to pass him off one of the books or maybe two of the books so he can work through some of the exercises and I can be a, a resource to help him. So um, I'm intending to go back in the fall. Certainly hope uh, time, health, um, everything that needs to line up to make that work um, will, will happen. And um, yeah, my demo went fine. They enjoyed the robot, the the launch, the missile launcher. I accidentally, I hit the cat, but it didn't hit him hard. But it, I mean, obviously he's not too traumatized. But um, yeah, I thought it was a little stronger and going to hit higher, and it fell short and just well, it sort of. It didn't really hit him, hit him. It sort of fell on him anyway. They had a good joke at, they had a good laugh over that. But um, 
So we're done with robotics. The school year's winding down. Johnny's got exams, not next week, although middle school exams start next week. But the following week, he's done with school by May the 21st, um, that Friday. So we're winding down. Yeah, we're winding down the school year here. We, you know, um, get out in May and go back in August um, here in North Carolina. And that has a little bit to do with state tourism um, and when the tour they want people to go to the beach and go to the mountains and stuff. Matter of fact, they were trying to move the school year around a bit in the tourism uh based on COVID or what they thought was best for the kids. And there's a big debate in the NC legislature from the tourism um, people not wanting them to be able to move anything around. Um, so I don't know. Personally, I think uh, we shouldn't be thinking about beach trips when we're thinking about when schools start and stops. But And most of the schools are air-conditioned now, so going in August isn't an issue that it might would have been at some point but um we'll see how that ends ends up um yeah stripe hey buddy hi <laughs> that's not where he's supposed to be i guess he got hungry so a guy showed up to mark our power lines etc and um he was out here he had walked up from the street when we came out to talk to him, Johnny saw him through the window. Kind of thought maybe he should have let us know he was on the property. Not a huge deal though. But he was out here marking things. And, um, you know, Don basically gave him the rundown on where stuff is. And to give him an idea. Because it's a big yard, right? And um, looks like everything is pretty much right where Don said it was. Remember, the driveway w used to run um, differently. It used to circle the house. It went, you know, all the way around the house. And it, it wasn't where the asphalt is now. Oh. But yeah, we knew. <laughs> we knew sort of where the power line was. But you can see the lines going back up in that direction. And over here. It crosses the driveway up there by my camellia bush right here basically straight in front of me is where it crosses the driveway and then it goes up on the other side of the driveway of course to the box he asked us if we used our landline and the answer was no they don't have to worry about cutting that and uh, yeah yeah you can see and then it sort of comes up and goes straight up through there to the box. Don said, you know, at one point right after they did it, when he first moved in, it looked like another road over there where they had cleared for that power. But um, obviously in 30 years it's grown up and you can't tell that so much. I do see a little bit of red line up there. So he's marked right where it is the power and then obviously out here at the street I don't know if the orange is old cable or telephone or what it is water's blue I guess obviously Holy moly, I knew I was getting two or three Lego packages today. I don't know what this big box is. I doubt that's Legos. Maybe I'll take half of it now and we'll see. It's an awful lot to carry back up I there. did get all the packages back in one trip, but now I think I'm going to uh, blow the driveway. It's time to take Ruby out. We're not supposed to get any rain today, but the sun's been in and out. It's kind of been uh, cloudy a good bit of the day today. It's kept the temperature down. Still feels nice out there. The bugs still aren't swarming. It's low humidity. It's, it's pleasant today. Ruby says it's 67, but she hasn't been out of the garage very long, so I'm not sure if that's accurate. But I doubt it's more than 70. 
Well, this is the most crowded I've seen South Park since before the pandemic started. All three ball fields, softball, baseball fields have a game going on. Um, the whole parking area over here is just totally full. It's busy. I don't know if Don got out on his run or not. He was going to try, but I don't know if he, uh, if he made it. So you gonna get to go? Yeah, I gotta get a run in today. Yeah, I didn't run for the last two days, so I want to at least get a couple days. Well, in the weather too. That's if fine. you're gonna pick a day, today is the day. Perfect. But yeah. look, South Absolutely. Park, there's 150 people there. Yeah. There's a ball game on all three ball fields. Yeah. It's a zoo. Please be careful going through the parking lot. Will do. Because there's a lot of cars. I mean, it's full over there. It's full. Okay. It's spilled over to up by the building. There's so many people there. Wow. Yeah.